Hey guys, it's Emily. Welcome back to the Casual Puzzler to a haul video. It has been a bit since I've done a haul video for myself. I did do one at the end of November for my channel for all the giveaway items. And I did a thrifted haul somewhere around October, but it's been since September that I've done a haul video of new puzzles. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself because it's been quite a while since I've purchased a ton of new puzzles and that shows some restraint, especially since I have a puzzle channel. Now, of course, I've had puzzles coming in because I did thrift some puzzles. I did also go to a puzzle swap. So if you're just interested in haul videos, I'll link my whole playlist down below. But today we are going over all the puzzles that I've gotten recently. A lot of them were from Christmas. There was also my birthday, which was just last week. And then I did buy four puzzles from Puzzle Canada. And so we're just going to go into all of them today. I don't have them in frame, but I think I have around 15 or so puzzles that I'll be bringing into my collection. So let's start with this stack over here. Most of it is Christmas. There's a couple birthday items, but we first have this one from Crazy Art and it is called Back to the Past. And here is the image. I have not done a Crazy Art puzzle before. Um, it does look like there is a poster inside, at least that's what it says on the back side of the box. Um, but it's a cute little image, you know, it's almost like a here. You know what it reminds me of? So I grew up in Maine and they have uh, what's called Old Orchard Beach. So that's the vibes it's giving me and it's cute. And I like how bright and colorful this one is. I feel like this will be a real fun one to do, especially like in the summer. So the next three are bits and pieces puzzles and these ones were gifted to me as well. And the first one here is called Winter Sleigh Ride. And look how pretty that one is. Look at that sky. Oh my goodness. Now I'm not a huge fan of doing puzzles with snow, but I think since it is cartoonsy and more like a bluish tint versus white, I think this will be a lot more doable, especially since, as you can tell, there's a ton of different textures, especially like the mountains is a different texture from the snow, which is a different texture from the sky. So even though there are different shades of blue, it's still doable. Like I just have to treat it as if it is a black and white puzzle. You know, it's just a singular tone, but it is different depths. So I think that will be doable. I like the little buildings. It's cute. I like it. It's definitely more Christmassy because there's a, like a Christmas tree, but I don't know if I'll get to it this season, but it is really, really pretty. So we have that one there. The next one has been on my wish list for ages and she didn't even know it when I when she got it for me, but it's called 99 Butterflies. Again, it's bits and pieces. It's a circular puzzle. It's a thousand pieces. And look how sweet this one is. It's just like a bunch of butterflies. The edge might be pretty tricky because it's all the same pattern. So it is one that I think I will have to start like from the inside out and do all the butterfly sections and then do that pattern around the border. So I think that's my strategy going with this one. But there's something about having just like these sweet pastel colors, which is nice. And then this one we have is part of the haul, but I did already do it and posted it on my Instagram. I did this one the day after Christmas, I think it was, or no, I did it New Year's Day. That's what it was, I did it New Year's Day. Um, but it is called Grandma's China. And look at all those sweet little teacups. This one was super fun. So I actually didn't start with the border. I started off with this wallpaper over here and then moved into the different colored teacups. Like I divided it by color. So I do all the red teacups and then I'll do all the blue and then the green. And then I filled in with that lace followed by the other little bits that are here and there. But it was super fun. It took me around eight hours or so. I did it all in one day. My knees were achy though, um, cause the cats were underneath the puzzle table. But it was just like a nice sweet New Year's Day activity and it was a fun one. I liked it. We have this random one that I did purchase. Um, I don't think I've ever showed it in a haul. I purchased it close to December, so I don't think I did. But it's from New York Puzzle Company and I don't know why I bought it, but it's called Breakfast in Bed. It's one of their newer puzzles I saw on Amazon. And I was like, you know what, that one, that one looks nice. But I do love this one because she's just like chilling, having some tea and breakfast in bed. Well, it's called breakfast in bed. But she has a bunch of cats around her. She just looks fun. Anyways, moving on to a couple puzzles Dave got me for Christmas. I'm 
so happy with his choices. So these two puzzles are by Elena Essex. And if you saw my top 10 puzzles of the year, my number two spot was an Elena Essex puzzle. And that's the only one I did from them, but it was beautiful. It was bright and colorful and fun and happy and really great quality. And so I'm excited that he did get me two more. And I, he, oh, I'm so excited. So this one is called Radiant Jungle. And her vibe is very like rainbow style, but unique, you know? So it's not quite a gradient rainbow, but you can definitely tell it's like patches of particular colors. So even though there's mostly like purple over here, it's also like kind of melded together in other areas. But I think it's a very doable puzzle and I love the colors of this one. It's super fun. And then the second Elena Essex puzzle he got is called Sunset Valley. And this is one of their newer ones. I do have to say, in person, it doesn't look as bright on the box, but I'm not sure how the puzzle pieces are inside. I love the colors of this one. Like, look at all those warm tones. I also love all the little houses and hills, and there's a few hot air balloons. I don't know if you see those up there. Um, but it's just a, such a sweet puzzle. Definitely reminds me of California, where we live, and... I like it, I like the colors a lot. I hope it's a little bit brighter, but honestly, those muted colors also seem really lovely as well. So, good choices to Dave. I think I'll finish off the Christmas and then I do a couple for birthday and then some that I purchased. So, for Christmas, Dave also got me this one here, which is a 3D option. So this is a 3D puzzle by Ravensburger. I am so excited for this. It is, let me see, how many pieces are you? 550 pieces, ages 10 to 99, and it's a level two difficulty. So if you can see, it is a globe that actually is functional. So it has a stand and it's a sphere and all the other sphere ones that I have done have had like a base and then they just like sit on it. This one looks like it actually like rotates and I am so for this. It looks super cool. So this is one I am going to keep in the box until we move because I would hate for me to put it together. And then I usually don't take the 3D puzzles apart. So if it got damaged during the move, that would be sad. So I'm going to wait on that one, but I think it's such a cool concept and I'm very excited about it. Um, we also have this one, which I pre-ordered and I actually forgot that I pre-ordered and then it arrived in the mail, but I didn't open the, the cardboard box. And I said, Dave, you can just wrap it up for Christmas. And he thinks it's annoying because I know what I get for Christmas, but honestly, I have the worst memory. So by the time Christmas comes around, I forget. And so Christmas morning comes and I'm so excited that this puzzle is under the tree. And he's like, how'd you forget that you even ordered it? Let alone like, I don't know. Anyways, it happens all the time where I will order something, I'll tell him just to wrap it for under the tree, and then I completely forget by Christmas Day. Anyways, I <laughs> is the Ravensburger Karen's Puzzle Puzzle. Yay, it's upside down. <laughs> Anyways, here it is. Um, I'm sure you've seen this all over the place. Look how bright and colorful it is. I will say, this thing is heavy, so I am very excited about it. Not gonna do it until after we move because it's 3,000 pieces. I would love to see it in a thousand piece count, but you know, we have a 3,000 piece puzzle and I do not have the space for it, but I will make it work somehow this year, so that's my plan. Moving on to a couple puzzles I got for my birthday, and they are both by New York Puzzle Company. The first one is called The Breakfast Tree, and I love this one. It is a very bright, colorful illustration. It is a thousand pieces, and as you can tell, it's just super bright colorful. I like the words that are at the top that say The Breakfast Tree. In general, it looks pretty easy. Um, but I, I like the colors a lot. It looks a little bit brighter and a little bit more crisper, more illustrated than the brushstroke paint ones. So I think this is more up my speed. And then this one from New York Puzzle Company is called Beachcomber Collections. And I like this one because it also has like rainbow vibes, but it's individual items. It is a like, someone's picking up trash and then this is what they put out. 
they have a bunch of them now that I'm looking on the back they have one for camping and videos and houseware I'll show you the back just because they have a few different options for this style of puzzle it's cool you know it's almost like a collage of items but it's not like a grid and I like it I like it I feel like I'm gonna like this style I definitely like the camping one. Ooh, that's a musical instrument one. I'm gonna have to look at this collection a little bit more because this is a collection I've not done from them and I feel like I'm going to love it. It is a thousand pieces. Now, ugh, let's move into the stuff I actually purchased, which would, I brought a knife. Um, so these ones I got from Puzzle Canada. I feel like it took longer this time might just be because of the holiday backup. Might be because of a bunch of storms. That's probably it. There's a bunch of storms in the East Coast. And so it took a while to get here. I wanna say like two and a half weeks, maybe up to three weeks to get here. It's okay that it took a little bit longer because one, I forgot what I ordered. I know the brands. I just don't remember the puzzles that I got. Um, so it's going to be like a nice little surprise. So um, that's fine. I will just open it up and let you guys know what I got and we are going into oh my gosh that's so pretty oh. okay so I am so excited for these oh my gosh did I just see the first one and I'm so excited for it so if you saw my 2023 goals one of my Things that I want to do this year is to feature smaller brands and just try more brands outside of the, the normal humongous ones. And so I'm so excited for this because I actually ordered puzzles based off my wish list that I did last year, which are like 10 small brands that I want to try. And I have a couple of them here and I'm okay. So the first puzzle I have here is by the brand Artisan Puzzles. It's a 750 piece puzzle and it's called Dahlia's by Francis Palmer. And look at these, look at these colors. Oh my goodness. Yes, it's a bit of black up top, but not an unreasonable amount, you know, um, especially since it is only 750 pieces. But look at those colors. This is beautiful. It's one of those puzzles that kind of reminds me, it's like Valentine's Day, but not hearts. So I absolutely love the colors of this one and I like the different textures. I feel like it's like a very adult style of puzzle. You know, I'm not saying these other ones aren't, like all the cartoonsy ones, but this one just seems very modern, very grown up. And I hope that makes sense. But this one looks beautiful and I'm so excited for it. It's a beautiful picture. Um, I also feel like this would be a great one as an actual art piece on the wall. Oh, mm. <laughs> oh my, oh, oh, that's right. Oh my gosh. These puzzles are beautiful. Okay, these next two are from a brand that I want every single one that she comes out with. But I'm so excited that I was able to get it in the States because it is an Australian brand called Tanya Wicks and she does photography but it's also similar vibes to this artisan one where it's very like modern and picturesque and oh my gosh anyways this first one is called Citrus Burst and as you can tell it's just like a bunch of citrus we have a grapefruit or orange we have a lime a couple lemons like it is beautiful and it's just a few colors, you know, but I feel like it's such an impact. It looks so pretty. So I am very excited about this one. On the back it says, the art of mindfulness. Oh, I will definitely be doing a video about Tanya Wicks and these are puzzles that are coming with me in temporary housing. Like I cannot wait. I'm so, oh, I want this whole brand, <laughs> this whole brand. Anyways, I hope they are fabulous. I've heard amazing things and so, I'm excited for that one. The next one is called Candlesticks. And look at this, look at the colors. You know, it's not a rainbow, you know, it's not quite a rainbow, it's just like color blocking. So it's very distinct colors. So I feel like it'd be very easy. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I love the colors of this one. Cause they're not like, like strict rainbow colors. It's more pastel. And I feel like 
This is another one I'm going to absolutely love. So that one will be amazing. And then the final puzzle we have here is another one that this looks so bright and gorgeous. It's from a brand I've never done before. It's from the brand Enjoy, which is newer on the Puzzle Canada website. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look how bright that one is. It's called Gradient Rainbow Swirl, which of course is exactly what you're looking at. Look how bright they are. It is a swirl, but it also has like almost like a braided aspect to it. Oh my gosh, this one again looks very doable, pretty easy, and so bright. Anyways, I'm excited for these ones. There are just so many good options, and honestly, I'm having a hard time narrowing down the one box worth of puzzles that I'm bringing with us. So I think that might have to be its own video. Let me know if you're interested in knowing the puzzles that are coming with us in temporary housing, because I thought I had a good idea, but now no clue. So let me know if any of these I need to like bring to the top of the pile. I definitely think a Tanya Wicks puzzle video has to be happening earlier in the year. So let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a fabulous day and I'll see you guys next time.